Welcome, friends and family. We are gathered here today to witness and celebrate the marriage of Kyler and Brooke. They've spent the last four years getting to know each other, and we now bear witness to what their relationship has become. testament to the strength and the depth of their connection that they have chosen to embark on this lifelong journey. As we look back on the past four years, we've seen Kyler and Brooke grow together, create countless memories, and face life changes as a team. They've supported each other through thick and thin, and it's evident that their love has blossomed into something truly special. Today, we are not only here to witness their vows and exchange of rings, but also to offer our wholehearted support and blessings as they begin this new chapter in their lives. We have every reason to believe that Kyler and Brooke are well prepared for this adventure together. Thank you. <laughs> that looks so nice. Thank you. <laughs> I love you. Love you too. <laughs> Brooke, to my best friend, my biggest fan, and the love of my life, I've opened my heart to you since the very beginning. And as I continue to do so, you have given me so much support, care, and love I have ever had. As we officially start our lives today, I will be proud to be your husband. It will be my duty to laugh with you, comfort you in times of sorrow, and to be your best friend until the end of time. I love you and will continue loving you endlessly. You're okay. Kyler, I have always wondered what my future husband would be like, and I just have to say you have far exceeded my expectations. I promise to always be true to you, to always support you, to challenge you, and to share with you all of life's moments. No matter what trials we encounter together or how much time has passed, I know that our love will never fade, that we will always find strength in one another and continue to grow side by side. I promise you that with all of my being today and always. I love you, Kyler. In this moment of celebration, we also pause to remember those who, while not physically present with us today, hold a special place in our hearts. Kyler and Brooke would like to pay tribute to three individuals who are dearly missed on this occasion. Nick Rowton, his mama Val, and Bill Summer. As we continue with this celebration, let us carry their memories with us, cherishing the times we shared and honoring the role they've played in shaping Kyler and Brooke's lives. Brooke and I met in orchestra in seventh grade. She was first chair of violin, which I was always so jealous 
of her musical skills. She was in lessons. She was just amazing. Tyler, I know you'll always be there for me, except when you and Brooke are watching a movie together, or if you have dinner with Brooke's parents, then I'm on my own. Brooke is one of the most genuinely kind people I've ever met in my life. One thing I love about her is that when she gets nervous, she gets really giggly, so I've seen that a lot today. I wish you both a long, healthy marriage with a bunch of great memories. I love you guys. Now do you, Kyler, take Brooke to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold, in sickness and health, keeping yourself unto her for as long as you both shall live? I do. And Brooke, do you take Kyler to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold, in sickness and health, keeping yourself unto him for as long as you both shall live? I do. Marriage is a wonderful commitment that allows you to give up yourself fully and freely each and every day. When both partners commit to each other fully, marriage becomes a never-ending circle of love and support. As we stand here ready for this new chapter of your lives together, it is my great privilege to declare to all present that by the power invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Kyler, go for it. We have been dreaming about this day since we were 12. We've actually got our Pinterest board set up for this moment forever. I actually found a note that she wrote to me our freshman year of high school where she said she couldn't wait to get married and for me to be her maid of honor. So I'm really happy that that could live out its dream. Not only did I get a best friend out of meeting you, but my wife got a lifelong best friend as well. One thing I learned from joining the military is blood doesn't mean family. I have a ton of families sitting in this room right now and not a single person I share blood with. Marriage is not easy, trust me, I know. But from what I've seen, you and Brooke, we both are meant to be. I'm so happy that you two have found each other. Join me in raising a glass to the amazing couple. Kyler and Brooke, you came in here today to affirm your love for one another and formally acknowledge that what your hearts already knew, that you are stronger together than apart, and that for your days yet to come, you wish to share together all life's joys and challenges. I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs>